क्वेश्चन नंबर 147 2x plus 3y minus 5 dy by dx plus 3x plus 2y minus 5 equal to 0 rearranging we can write dy by dx as minus 3x plus 2y minus 5 by 2x plus 3y minus 5 now this is not a homogeneous equation uh, we have to convert it into a homogeneous form and then solve it from the so we in let's call this equation one for such question we can use the substitution small x is equal to capital x plus h and small y equal to capital y plus k for the substitution equation two for the substitution to work we need to first check whether the ratio of coefficient of x in numerator to denominator is not equal to the ratio of coefficient of um, y in numerator to denominator so uh, which is minus 3 by 2 which is not equal to 2 by 3 so minus 3 by 2 is not equal to 2 by 3 so we can apply this solution so small x is equal to uh, using 2 if we differentiate we get small dx is equal to d capital x and small dy equal to d capital y therefore we have d x by dy equal to d capital y by d capital x let's call this equation 3 okay um one second call this equation 3 now using 2 and 3 in 1 we have d capital y by d capital x is equal to minus 3 capital x minus 2 capital y uh, so opening there will be plus 5 instead we write plus minus 3h minus 2k plus 5 uh, we have just substituted capital x plus h to x and capital y plus k to y in equation one and rearrange the terms so yeah two capital x plus three capital y so there is a minus five here so we write two h plus three k minus five all this equation four Equation 4 is not homogeneous, but if we choose h and k such that minus 3h minus 2k plus 5 is equal to 0 and 2h plus 3k minus 5 is equal to 0, then the equation 4 reduces to a homogeneous form. So we can find h and k which satisfies that equation. So to find h and k, we have two equations minus 3h minus 2k plus 5 equal to 0 and 2h plus 3k minus 5 equal to 0 so we have h by minus 2 into minus 5 is 10 minus 5 into 3 15 so k by 5 into 2 is 10 uh, minus 5 into minus 3 is 15 okay equal to 1 by minus 3 into 3 is minus 9 minus 2 into minus 2 which is minus 4 so plus 4 okay therefore we get h is equal to 10 minus 15 is minus 5 by minus 9 plus 4 is minus 5 is equal to 1 therefore it's equal to 1 and k equal to uh, 10 minus 15 is minus 5 by minus 5 this is equal to 1 so therefore h is equal to k is equal to 1 so if we put h and k as 1 plus 3 5 minus 5 okay uh, h and k as 1 uh, we'll uh, 
get this equation so as zero so let's call this five equation five so using five in four uh okay before that we can just write this also uh, we know from two that capital x is equal to x minus h right so small x minus one and capital y equal to small y minus one okay so we have this from equation two capital x is equal to small x minus h h is one and capital y is equal to small y minus k which is k is equal to one so let's call this equation six we will be using equation six in later in the solution so okay then now using values of h and k in five in four we get d capital y by d capital x is equal to minus 3x minus 2y by 2x plus 3y okay uh, you got this minus 3x minus 2y by 2x plus 3y so this is uh, let's call this equation 7 this is a homogeneous equation uh, we solve such homogeneous equation using the substitution y equal to v capital X so equation 8 now differentiating equation 8 with respect to x we have dy by d capital X is equal to v plus x dv by dx and so using 8 and 9 in 7 we have v plus x dv by dx is equal to minus 3x minus 2vx by 2x plus 3vx now cancelling x from both numerator and denominator and bringing v to the RHS we have x dv by dx equal to minus 3 minus 2v by 2 plus 3v minus v so simplifying we have minus 3 minus 2v minus 2v minus 3v square okay for the simplifying we get x dv dx is minus 3 minus 4v minus 3v square okay so now this equation is in a form where we can use the method of separation of variables so we will bring all the v terms to one side and x to the other we have 2 plus 3v by minus 3 minus 4v minus 3v square dv equal to dx by x okay now if you observe the differential uh, the differential of the denominator is minus 6v minus 4 so minus 6v minus 4 can we can bring that minus 6v minus 4 by taking a minus 1 by 2 outside so we have minus 4 minus 6v by minus 3 minus 4v minus 3 what we could do one thing we'll just yeah okay okay uh, dv equal to dx by x now we can integrate both sides integrating we have minus 1 by 2 integral minus 4 Now this the differential of denominator is in the numerator 
so we can di directly write the integral as minus 1 by 2 log minus 3 minus 4v minus 3v square equal to log x plus c now multiplying throughout by 2 and bringing all the log terms together minus 2 we can also write this as mm, log minus 3 minus 4v plus 2 log x another constant okay so where c1 is minus 2c So we multiply it by 2 and brought log x to the LHS. Okay. Um, so now using the logarithm properties we have. Or we can e take e power on both sides. And write minus 3 minus 4v minus 3v square into x square is equal to c2 uh, we will do one thing we will just multiply both sides by minus 1 so we have from here we have 3v plus 3v square equal to a c2 becomes minus c2 so it's okay another constant so where we can write c2 equal to uh, minus e raised to okay. now we got this now we can use the substitution from equation 8 from equation 8 we know v equal to y by x we are going to use that substitution here v equal to y by x capital y by capital x so using 8 we have 3 plus 4 y by x plus 3 y square by x into x square e2 now simplifying we have 3 x square plus 4 y x plus 3 y square plus x square into where x square get cancelled now we have this equation and we can use the equation 6 equation 6 is capital x is small x minus 1 and capital y is small y minus 1 so we can use that substitution also in our equation so using 6 we have 3 into x minus 1 the whole square plus 4 y minus 1 into x minus 1 plus 3 into y minus 1 a constant Or we can open this up. Mm. We get 3x square. Y square term is 3y square. So 3y square. And okay. So 1 by 1. Uh, 3x square. Uh, so x square minus 2x becomes 3x square minus 6x. Plus 1. So plus 3. 4xy minus 4x minus y minus 4y plus 4 plus 3y square minus 2y minus 6y uh, plus 1 plus 3 c2 so we bring all the constant terms to the RHS and add with c2 and make it another constant c3 and the rest of the terms 3x square plus 3y square so minus 6x uh, sorry there is a 4xy so plus 4xy and minus 6x and minus 4x right so minus 10x and y term is minus 4y and minus 6y so minus 10y another constant c3
So our answer is 3x square plus 4xy plus 3y square minus 10x minus 10y equal to a constant. So this is the solution. These are the steps. We'll just, I'll we'll just stop. This is the solution. And these are the steps. This is the solution to question number 147.